Howdy. Bang! These knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello. Oh, man, yeah, it's just not going to come up right over there. With that light? Yeah. Oh, my God, it looks like a, like a flare wanna, from dying light. Does it work better light? when I pull it down? Like this? Um, oh, look at the thing. I, no, it looks bad. How about like this? Mm, nope. Nothing? Or just about, give up. What about like this? Ew, I do not like this. We're going to have to zoom in a little because this looks gross. I don't like that one Whatever. bit. Well, the point was, I rearranged this area. I cleaned everything. I rearranged this area. Sorry, guys. I cleaned off the, the shelves back there and cleaned everything off and reorganized so that I have a little bit more of, I guess, organization right here and cleaned off this table, cleaned basically everything. I'm actually still working on it. It's going to take me a couple days to go through everything, but just so I can be more organized with what's coming in, what's going out, what's for sharpening, what's for modding, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Amy, how you, you doing? You just turn that light off, um, baby. I don't like it. Yeah, I know. It does look bad with the, with the live. Um, it actually sometimes... For certain colors, it works. Yeah, certain but colors, it works. Yeah, most of the colors look like... Boo -boo. I like the colors, though. I mean, how about that? No. No, that's worse? That's worse. Literally just looks like a white rectangle. Fine. People are going to come on our live and be like, why do they have a rectangle on? Anyways, so, um... But, yeah, so, I pulled the table farther away because I'm trying to make it where during the lives I can make it dark back here. I ain't quite got it right yet. Um, I got the lighting over here facing completely away and it's still bright right here, which is weird because technically it's dark in here. Like this is the darkest we've ever had it in here. Excuse me. I mean, Amy. over here is completely dark. Behind me is darker than right here. I only have the light facing that way. So it's kind of weird that it's so bright. I'm trying to make it to where it's dark in here. Go do that one more time. Off? Off. I saw, wait, wait a second. You're playing hide and seek? That actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> no, it does not. Look at it. From the screen. Maybe if we do ghost stories, we can do that. Yeah, no, right now. It actually looks kind of cool, though. Uh, but not for looking at knives, though. Anyways, but my, I do have another little light that I can face towards us, but it's so blinding, like I'd have to have some way set up. But I did order a microphone, thanks to some of you guys um, from my birthday. I'm actually gonna order a knife because I know you guys donated the money for a knife. So I'm going to order a knife. I haven't ordered one yet. I haven't picked one out. Um, I gotta figure out exactly what I made because what you guys donated isn't what I'm going to get because you know, YouTube tax. So YouTube takes us a little cut off of it. So once I figure out how much money was from the live the other day, thank you guys very much. I am going to buy a knife, my birthday knife from you guys. And I did order a microphone. So hopefully we have a microphone that will work between us and will work for when I record videos that'll make the audio so much better. Because I honestly, I hate the audio I have. It drives me nuts when I listen to the audio we have. Um, yeah, it almost was a spooky story time. <clears throat> um, the biggest thing I'm worried about, though, is um, I'm kind of a loud mouth, and I don't mean like I'm loud, yes, but I mean like my my lips and everything, so I'm hoping that the microphone doesn't... You mean like going... Stuff like that. Yeah, stuff like that. I, I hope the microphone doesn't pick it up. Like I know it will. But yeah, hope, it'll pick up. I know. that. Yeah. And, but the, but I learned from watching some of the videos which microphones help that and which ones make that worse. So I'm hoping I can uh, learn to use the, the microphone in a way that it's more successful. So today, or tonight, hope everybody's doing all right. We are going to pull up knives, okay? So we're going to pull up knives. And so say, like, if I pulled up the Sevi or the Suncut Actium, right? Say if I pulled this up, then we have the fishbowl, okay? So then we're going to pull up a question from the fishbowl about the knife that we pull forward. We're going to put the questions back afterwards so we can just keep them going. There is a lot in here, though. And we're going to ask that question about the knife that we pull forward and see 
whatever, you know, there's different questions, see uh, how we can answer that question for that knife. Um, um, hopefully it's fun. We'll play that in just question. a little bit. Question. What? Thank you, Andrew. Thank Are you. I appreciate that. Up? Are we going to switch off picking knives like you picked one? You know, pick one? I honestly don't think it matters about picking it. I think it's just about grabbing one and pulling it forward. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Guess what? What? I have a knife named Lamb Chop. She's got a knife named Lamb Chop. Do you know why this knife is named Lamb Chop? Tell him. I'm asking you. Oh, do I? Yeah. I'm guessing because of the old lamb part? Yeah, it's an olamic. What's up, Eric? Am I allowed Bye. to say who got this for me? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I said it in the video. Um... Yeah, you can. Okay. I think. I mean, as far as I know, yeah. Okay, well. Knife Sergeant. I got this Olamic. Yes, I did. Thank hey. you very much. I thought oh I messaged you. Go ahead. I got a whippersnapper for my birthday, which hasn't happened yet, but um, Ronan, who comes in our lives frequently, some of you may know him, he got me a knife and Jared a knife and... Olamix, we were talking about it in literally the last live, that it was my one of my first grails, and it was the busker, and I actually had to handle one, and I wasn't, I was kind of let down, and I was like, man, now I'm kind of out of the Olamic phase, and my goodness gracious, if I knew how this one felt, like before touching it, if that makes sense, this would have been my grail, not the busker. You, you know you handled that with I the busker. Know. I, I know, and I liked that oh, one. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I'm saying, like, before... Oh, you're saying before you ever day, felt either one. I see yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, if yeah, I yeah, had yeah. known how this yeah. one felt, it would have been my grill, not the busker, is I, what I'm trying to say. I think the only problem Ooh. with the busker is that it's it's a small knife, and it's super thick. Like, this one's slicey. This yeah. actually has good geometry. The other one, it, it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a hard use thickness for such a small knife, but it's a great knife and very fidgety. It's anyway, great for a um, a high end knife. Her name is Lamb Chop. Actually, I think it's a boy because he has a mohawk. His name is Lamb Chop because he's not a lambic. So all the people that are so knife sergeant, yes, I did get that, and there's a couple more people I'm waiting for for theirs <gasps> before I mail it. Hey, Ray, thank you, Bob. Ah, ah, ah. If you guys, you guys don't know, um, and it probably will be a week or two or however long it takes him to do it, but tomorrow I will be on uh, Everyday City Carries podcast, but the, it won't go up for a while. What so, the fuck? Yeah. Oh, I just wasn't invited to this one? I, I asked you earlier, like, if, what time you were working and everything. We uh, talked about it the other day. I was going to talk about it a little later. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's fine. You I guys... wasn't trying to cut you off or anything. Uh... I didn't, I didn't know if you'd even want to because you have to I work understand. tomorrow. I understand. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's Ray's fault, actually. It's fine. I know. I know. I, I, you know, I wanted to say something to you. He said, don't say nothing to Kara. Listen, it's fine. <laughs> he, <laughs> he said, just whatever you do, don't tell Kara. <laughs> it's, <fine. laughs> it's really fine. It's fine. Um... Well, I <laughs> he said it's, no, not it's not fine. It's not fine. It's it doesn't sound fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't sound fine. What's that coffee? Have a drink. Nope. It's, it's <laughs> not fine. Because <laughs> it's not fine. Um. So Breeze, you got some bagels and your stuff coming. I didn't record those scissors sharpening those scissors. I wish I would have, but I didn't really have time. But they did come out good. I got them apart, got them sharpened, and they are on the way back to you. So the scissors are done, <laughs> and you got some bagels coming. <laughs> he said, are you going to do a frosted tip re reveal today? Is that why you're wearing a cap? <laughs> I always wear a cap. My hair is kind of long right now. That's why I'm wearing a cap. I just trimmed it for you. Oh, me. yeah, because you guys wanted them frosted tips. No, I didn't do a frosted tip. This is Christina. Me and Eric are watching this. Can I get that knife? Kara's holding on to in pink or blue. Yeah, if you want to spend like $650, you can get it in whatever color you want. Yes, yes. Literally yes. completely customizable. Um, That's the thing with the But it's a, it's, it's a big one. I wouldn't have this knife in my life if it wasn't given to me because it's very expensive. Yes, for plain tie, for, or for just plain, they're $495. $495, $500. Now, if you get them with holes, anodized, uh, 
Timascus clips, Timascus pivot collars. They have so many different versions. Any which way, really. If it's you go endless. to their site directly, yeah, I mean, endless. you'll spend more than if you get one that's already created, which, honestly, if you really wanted one, you could go on to Blade HQ, and they have a lot of blue ones. I see blue all the time. Pink yes. is a little more rare, um, pre-made, but if you go to Olamic Cutlery's site directly, you can order and customize it however the hell you want. They have one that's a little smaller than mine. The problem with pink is pink is, I think, very hard. It's a hard color to... No, but, like, I anodized the fire and got pink on it. it. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm saying, like, certain colors are harder for them to do. But you can go on a lamb and can have it personally made, or you can find ones that are pre-made and pay a little less. But uh, the ones that are customized are, you know, right around... They're pretty close to 600 bucks. Yeah. Did my first freehand sharpening, thanks to you, turned out okay. Awesome. What, what kind of stone did you use? Did you use diamonds or? Hey, Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Man, we got uh, a lot of family in here tonight. Me and Eric are watching that. this. I'm... I was just telling you, that was I see, friend. I see, I see, I see. Um, come on. These numbers should be higher than this. What do we got? I'm confused. Your birthday 26. is coming up on March 45th. What? Wow. I didn't know that huh. was the day. I didn't know either. It must be a special day. I think maybe March... Or you're saying you're 45th. In 45th. March for 45th, 45th. Yeah. yeah, you don't look 45. There you go, Eric. Now you know it together. I'm sure she'll be <laughs> totally happy. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get diamond stone. It was just an Arkansas stone this time around. Did you, um, did you have a hard Arkansas, soft Arkansas, or both? I like to use, um, I don't have a soft, I have both hard and then I have the, the translucent, but the softs are really good, they're, they're better for sharpening, and then in my opinion the hard is more for refining, and then the translucent is only for honing, like that's it, because it's such a hard stone that it's kind of like a ceramic, in my opinion. Um, yes, Colt, my birthday is on January 29th. I don't think it falls on a live day, although, if I'm not mistaken, my birthday eve does, which in this household we celebrate birthday eve. It's the most important form of a birthday. Jared got all his gifts on his birthday eve. I've celebrated his birthday eve every year. I don't know why, I just think it's funny, so I always do that. And I think... Oh! No, it doesn't. It's my what? birthday Eve Eve. Or we can do my post-birthday day. That's the other one. I do birthday Eve, birthday day, and post-birthday day. Um, so the <laughs> the closest live to my birthday is my post-birthday day. So it'll be that Saturday the 30th is when we can do something. Because I took time off. I'm not going to be working from the 27th to the 31st. And I know that sounds like not a lot of time, but it is to me. So... And it's funny because I really don't have that attitude of like, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. All right, did you get me something for my birthday? What'd you get me? <laughs> like, I don't even act like that. I just think saying birthday Eve is funny. Um, So tomorrow I'm going to drop the Asher video, the other two, the frame lock and the access lock. Um, I'm going to do them both in one video so that I can... Because I got the information that I'm going to drop in that video. So I'm just going to do them both in one I'm going to try not to make it very long, but one of the knives is going to be a little bit longer than the other one, but there's some information I want to drop in that video, so I'm just going to do it all in one rather than saying the same information twice. Uh, Can I ask what's you? up, Scott? What? Do you think that the lighting in this video right now looks blurrier, like grainy? No, it's, our lives are always grainy. It's just the way lives are. I feel are. like this one in particular looks extra grainy. Think so? You can always try turning that light a little bit if you want to. Yeah, but it's so close now that it'll be like. Well, I don't mean. F I just mean a little bit. It's just. Look how white we already are, though. Well, turn it away then. I don't know. I was trying to figure it out. The it's problem weird. is, is that you can't see. We can't see this until we actually go live. True. So it doesn't matter like how much it works for my regular camera or what it looks like in my regular camera. It's always different. Hey, Breeze! Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Thank what you. What the thank you. fuck is that? And how the hell am I That's supposed awesome. to do that? That's why he sent that. <laughs> He's like, try this one. <laughs> Give me a minute to think of something here. 
what the Oh, hell? that's amazing. It goes upside that's down. That's amazing. I told you not to start it. I told you not to start it. What do you got going now? What are you going to do? Give me a second. I will follow through. I got I think I know something. something you can do. You do have a spinning chair. I know, but that's not... I know, I know. it's not upside down, You would have to push me, though. Is that why you move forward so I could have more room for activities? Yeah. <laughs> no, not exactly. Oh, I wanted God. it just for the view. I figured it worked better for the view. I'm actually thinking it's still... Did you zoom the camera in? Just a touch. Because uh -huh. it was so far, you could see, like, 20 feet of wall. What's up, Ronan? Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Someone from my job just texted me, and somebody uh, wore a mask. I guess they got in trouble for wearing a Biden mask and, to work. And then uh, and then the person wore another one that says B-Y-E-D-O-N, by Don, uh -huh. so that she could get away with it. By Don? <laughs> yeah, like Biden. But right. just to get away with wearing it at work. That's so stupid. <laughs> he wants fireworks. Ugh! <laughs> He's expecting fireworks. Careful with that truck. He's expecting fireworks. Hey, you start it. And Don Dad is going to Florida tomorrow. Uncle Jimmy's going to Florida. That's awesome, man. I'd love to go to Florida right now. It'd be a lot better than the snow. A lot better than the snow. I'm sure the weather down there is real nice. A lot nicer than here. I don't know what she's figuring out, guys. She's about to get crazy. And it's all Breeze's fault. What do we got here? Let's open up some of these knives. Because I cleaned everything up. Oh, this is the one I just sharpened. This, um... What is it? The, uh... The Wii... Gava. The Wii Gava. This thing's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely a good EDC knife. Um... Not a big knife, definitely, I guess it's not compact either, but a good medium-sized knife. I'm not going to do a video on it. Um, I did put a nice edge on there, though. Looks really good, but I can't show you guys because we're live. I need to get some better studio equipment. Like I said, I, I am buying pieces here and there to improve the quality of not just these lives, but just the regular videos. Um... This Reacto, man, this thing's pretty damn awesome. I do like this thing. Um, the Hills, I think, React Hills. Very, very cool. The Ergos are amazing on this thing. I actually like that that banana shape. Um, Kara is going to build a rocket. That's what she's doing, actually, right now. You guys have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, we got the Atlantic there. I'll tell you what, man, this 4Max, this thing is a beast. I didn't realize till after the um, the unboxing, this is 20 CV. That's crazy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because 20 CV is so such a hard steel. I don't know how they heat treated it in this, but I would uh, I would think you'd want more of a, uh, a stronger, tougher steel than a, you know, a hard, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm, when I test it, I don't even know how I'm going to test this because it's not an EDC knife. So it's not like it's something you want to cut up your cardboard with. It's something you want to abuse and maybe I'll, I don't know. We'll figure, I'll figure it out. But this thing is a beast. If you, I'm sure some of you guys have this knife. This thing is crazy. Definitely a big knife. Like right here, let's, uh, let's show it next to the Spyderco. PM2. Look at that thing. <laughs> this thing is a beast. <laughs> Definitely something you, you could chop with for sure. Does it fit in the pocket? Yeah, I actually put it in the pocket. You know, it was better than I thought, to be honest. It's kind of like carrying, because I carry an XM24 sometimes, which that's a big knife. So it reminds me of kind of like something like that. A little bit beefier, definitely a bit beefier, but it kind of reminds me of it. Um, what's up, S2K? Oh, thanks, Zach. You like that? Benchmade. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. I knew you, you know what? I don't even know why I said that to you. You probably know exactly what hat this is and where it even comes from. Um, I've actually I seen, i seen, uh, Okay, and there's one right there. Um, I actually... Why? 
Why do you need a lighter? I need a lighter. Oh, fuck. Um, I seen, uh, ah, uh, she just messed my brain up. I don't even know what I was thinking. Um, oh, um, Metal Complex. I seen Metal Complex with this same hat, too. What's up, not DG? Jer, say hi to Jayla. Hey, Jayla. How you doing, Jayla? Nathan's nice. What's up, Nathan? Um, just waiting for Kara to get this over with because she's got something up her ass. She's about to pop out. I um, need tape. Oh, there's duct tape right over there. Where? Right there. Here? Right there, down. Right there. Kinky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's she doing right there? She's making a rocket to spin Don't around. Don't tell people well, what they I'm know doing. If they see Don't. Okay. You're going to spoil She's it. She's building a damn rocket to spin around on and fly away on. No problem. I don't know all the details, but Jared could explain it better. Um, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Danny, exactly. Um, but yeah, here in a few minutes, though, I'm going to, as soon as she's done with her building, um, I'm going to pull out some knives, pop them out. Most of them you guys will know or not know, but either way you will see them. And then we will pull... Something out from the bucket, read the question, and then answer it for that knife. So, a lot of these knives you guys will have, or have seen, or have watched reviews on. Um, I'm going to try to keep it... What? What are you doing? Yeah, that, that, that don't, I don't understand, but yeah. Lighting this on fire? I wouldn't light it on fire. I we don't need to smoke. Out. What? I put it out. Yeah, we have carpet underneath this, baby. You should not light that on fire. No. Well, then I'll just do this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. That's <clears throat> smart. You guys, look what you did, Breeze. You need to move your chair. Get out of my way. Oh, shit. This You're carpet's okay. really slippery. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did it look cool? Yeah, it was awesome. Did the fire look cool? I think so. In the dark? I don't know about in the dark. Let's, I'm not let's doing watch, a flip. let's watch, the let's watch. The flip out of the question. Why didn't you flip the rocket? I'm holding fire. You're holding fire. Rocket ship engaged. I'll take it. And <sighs> I will do... I a, thought you were going to flip it. How am I going to flip it? I'm holding it. I thought she was going to do a barrel roll, too. I... I don't know what happened. Now, you're not letting me finish. Speed initiated. I need you to scoot again because I'm going to make up for the fact that I didn't flip by doing a cartwheel. You know, you're going to end up putting this on a It's bag. more going to be like a, like, what is no. that? Like a round off, whatever? Okay. I really can't do a real cartwheel. So I'm gonna do a somersault because there's not room for a car wheel. I'm gonna do something. Watch I'm just out, gonna the flip. Coffee's right there. Okay, I'm just gonna flip. Ready? Ready? Go. There you go. Okay, that was worth pretty fifty dollars. That was pretty good. Definitely worth fifty bucks. Thanks for that, Breeze. Thanks a lot, cuz. I gotta oh, just like keeping the controller over here. You will get it. I already got it. <laughs> Zach, you're awesome, man. Thank you. Where's that Ooh, bell? My little happy Where's controller. The bell? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate that, man. <laughs> Hi from Canada. Oh, no. Canada's in the house. What's oh. up, Todd Carr? Thanks. Parkour. Thanks for coming. Yeah, parkour. Let me tell you guys a quick <clears throat> parkour story for so many of you that know the game Dying Light. It's a zombie game. And in it, the me like the mechanics of jumping around in the map are parkour. It's not just like you're standing or jumping. You can zip line and all types of parkour and whatnot. And... I like got into it and was trying to like parkour over the couch after we were playing 
uh, or after I was playing the game, and I kept running around going, parkour, everything I was doing, and then all of a sudden it got into, like, a thing where we were trying to jump clear our couch, and um, we both did it at a certain point. You cleared the whole thing. I could clear the top and land on yeah, it. I skinned I my elbow, though, because yeah, I was wearing socks. Up, he wound up falling over this and skinning his elbow to the point where it was, like, this massive scab on there. It was insane. Oh, it's got material now. But, yeah, it was because I was wearing socks on the this carpet. Bump. Benjamin, thank you, Benjamin, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the donations. They Ooh. definitely massively help, guys. Like you guys are amazing. Really thank you so much. All right. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about the new... Uh, I've gotten a lot of great feedback from the new reviews, like the new review style, where, like, uh, what, what I'm talking about, I try to show. And it does take a lot more work. But I did notice some of the watch time kind of went down, so I don't know if it's a if it's a good or a bad. I'm going to keep doing it for a while and um, look at the, the grand scheme of things, but I've definitely gotten a lot of great feedback from people. Steve has some questions about your sharpening services. What's up, Steve? Let's see what he said, because I, I missed that. Um, you can uh, contact me on Instagram or through email if you want to talk personally, not in the live. Um, and if you have a question here, I can answer it as best as I can. Jared, do you do knife sharpening on the side? Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. 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 Okay, so I'll hit you up on IG. Yeah, yeah. I got the, right now, I got a few in right now for sharpening. I actually already did two of them. Um, it came out good. Okay, are we going to do our thing? Wait, uh, yes. I have to show them the shard really Step quick. Brothers Rules, I love that movie. Emily's hilarious. We were actually watching boats the Boats and Hoes the other day. They actually the have the whole music video up on you YouTube. It's hilarious. I love that part where he's like, every time I come, I produce a court. And she's like, that is offensive. <laughs> All right. I'm I need you. to get some Where's personal chats. We just recently got the thing. What's it called? What? For people to join and stuff. So we can get some but personalized. We, set it up. we have I just said that. But we can't. I'm about to say that. We haven't set it up, but we got the thing for it. So we can set it up. So I'm hoping really soon to set that up so we can have stickers and people can just join and then they'll have a special sticker next to their name if they've joined. And it'll help also, you know, help the channel out a lot. Okay, before we uh, do the thing thing, I yeah. just want to show you guys. I uh, impulse purchased this Kaiser shard in, I think they called it black micarta, but it's like a mixture of black it's and gray white, micarta. which creates a gray, but they call it black. Like when you, oh, if you're looking they? it up, they uh -huh. call it black. Cause uh -huh. I mean, if you look the primary, it, it looks like black and white together. So it kind of makes it look gray. Anyway, this thing is smaller than I thought it was going to be, but in a I good way. I showed it in a video. And you know. It's not fine. Um, and <laughs> it really reminds me of the, uh, what is that one, the Little Main Street by uh, Concept, except for, no offense, Concept, but I, I have to say that Kaiser did this one better. outdid it. Yeah. I mean, the liner lock was really the main Even thing I didn't like. Even the micarta's better. The micarta, the action, like, it's, like, so, like, like, I don't know, I just, I love it. The action is just snappy in all the right ways, but the detent isn't too strong for a small knife. The clip is perfect. It's deep carry, but it's not set ridiculously high, but high enough for anyone who wants deep carry. It's amazing. Okay, a couple questions Zach, here. Zach. Gotta head out to sit in traffic, catch up on the replay. Everyone have a good night. Thank you, thank Zach. You, Zach. Thank you, thank you. Um, knife Sergeant, which uh, Kaisers did you get? Breeze, in general, overall, what's your opinion of Kershaw's? Okay, Me I... Is. Okay, so the Walmart Kershaws are okay. The, the more you spend, the better the knife. But if you order them, you can actually get some pretty decent Kershaws. All the USA-made ones are good. So if it says it's a USA-made Kershaw, then it's a good one because it's made at their Zero Tolerance plant because it's all Kai. Kai owns... Kai Zero Limited on zero tolerance and uh kershaw and zero tolerance are higher end knives and then kershaw is their budget line so if you get the usa made ones they're awesome there's there's a few of them like my favorite's the bare knuckle but they have a bunch of autos that are really good they have the bare knuckle which is assisted um or the knockout i'm sorry the knockout which is assisted the bare knuckle is probably the best for about 65 bucks you can get them an M390 and stuff for like 90 bucks. 
but they have some other great knives. But some of their Walmart I knives think are the give Atmos or take. Atmos is a made in America. Yeah, it is. The Atmos is? The Atmos, yeah. The, the Dividend, the Atmos. Um, you sure about that? Um, pretty positive. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of the Fraction. Uh, there's a bunch of great ones that are made in the U.S. And then they're all, there are some good Chinese ones, but they're, they're not you as know, good um, as the U.S. I, I saw someone said, oh, it was Wallaby, said too many assisted knives. Well, oh, you got that one, Knife Sergeant? I was trying to find it last night and I couldn't find one for sale. The mini sheepdog with the micarta with the hole. I don't know that he said he got it. He just was talking about the new, it. Yeah, he said... I got some, uh, he said it right here. Just Impulse bought a couple new Kaisers. I said, which oh. ones? He says, well, my... What the hell? You were supposed to get me one when it dropped. I was trying to find them last night. Did you remember? to me. I didn't lie. You said you would. I didn't lie. Um, Kershaw Atmos, Country of... Okay, so the Atmos is China. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, anyways... So oh, that, yeah, that's that one we bought for somebody, right? No, we bought the Fraction. Oh, the, but it's the same thing, But the thing, Atmos, no. we got... No, we did get the Atmos for that white elephant Christmas thing. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, anyway, about the uh, the assisted knives... Okay, Kershaw, thank you, Sergeant. Sorry, keep going. About the assisted knives that Kershaw um, does, I don't think it should be severely hated on if you don't like the, uh, you know, assisted versions of their knives. Just don't buy them, um, because... The thing is, what I'll always say about assisted is, though I don't like assisted, they are the knives that do get people into knives because at first you think it's cool. I mean, just bottom line. And then you realize how important it is to be able to close your knife smoothly with yeah, one hand and definitely. you quit wanting the opening action to be fast and you want the closing action to be fast, I guess. And I know it's kind of weird, but it's how we all end up. So, um, you know, I think that... Um, not that Wallaby was hating on assisted knives. You know, everyone has an opinion. But I think that we should one last appreciate them. Thank for, you, uh, Zach. Thank you. What? One last bump? Hit it. Thank you. Thank you, I'm bud. I'm confused by that comment. The bell. Oh, okay. My head was... Well, first legit knife yeah, thank was the Kershaw <laughs> Link. I like the... Um, the Link is really good. I like the Leak, probably... Um, even better than I don't know because the dividend, the um, the link, the leak are all awesome. I love the bare knuckle. The knockout's really good, but it is assisted. Um, they have a couple good assisted Kershaws, but I I'd rather have not assisted because I like to be able to close my knife without. You know, I just if I course. just judge the knives by Kershaw that I like instead of looking at their whole line of knives, if I judge the ones that I've had that I like, things like that, my issue with them isn't what they do that I don't buy, but what they do that I have purchased. And I've just never really had a Kershaw that I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. The only one, honestly, that I've ever kind of felt like that about is the Ogre, which I don't remember the real name, the Bear Knockout. Yeah. I like that one, and it was an assisted one. Yeah. Yeah, Honestly, like I said, there's a couple that are pretty I good. I think that was the only... Uh... So, the the 20 CV Link, I, I think it's awesome. I think it's a great budget, but I think the um the better buy, in my opinion, would be the Bare Knuckle. Um, I just think it's a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> it's a non-assisted USA-made Kershaw. You can get it for under 100 bucks. You get a couple different colors. Um, I like it better than the Knockout, too. Um, but I do like the dividend. I do like the link. I do like the leak. They have a leak now in 154CM. What up, Miss Meow? Fist bump. What's up, Lindy Lou? I don't see a sign that says that. Does anyone see a sign that says no rock stud? I told... Well, their thing is that if they get 40 likes, they can see the rocks that I said no rock studs for bad boys. Um, actually, there's a... The rock studs are right over there. Oh, it's a 43. Yeah, we can bust out the rocks, Dad. Where's Mom? Jared, oh, hey, Mom. Hello to your mama. Hey, Mom. <laughs> I'm going to uh, call you on a Friday at 6. I got it written down on my table. He does have it. He literally wrote it on a table permanently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think this is the more important okay, one, to be fair. Yeah, I think you should stop fidgeting with it. I think so much. coming from you yeah. that I should be able to fidget all at once. Well, I just think so much. There's a lot of other knives you can fidget with. 
What? Well, I'm not uh, gonna break it. If this knife is gonna break from me opening and closing it, then no one should spend what they spend on that. That's true. Um, so I spent real money on was the Benchmark Reptilian, a black D2 steel blade, and I put full black aluminum scales on it. I like the sound of the aluminum scales. I don't like the sound of the D2. It must be an older version because they did used to use D2. Or oh, you probably did you get it from the um. Like the uh, the custom shop or something. It's weird that it's in D2. Um, I would have chose a different steel personally, but hey, if you love D2, go for it, man. Uh, but I like the sound of the aluminum scales. Carrot got me those titanium scales for the 940 I showed you in a video earlier. That is going to be badass. I can't wait to put those on the, the 940. Any of the onion named knives are his designs. The leak isn't the only one that has an onion name. No, he has, uh, Ken Onion has a bunch of, uh, designs. I like Ken Onion designs. I always thought his designs were awesome. I've always liked, um, who's that other guy? Wakanico? No. I like um, Ray Wakanico. Uh, with the, like, the upswept, um. Oh. He had, tie? Like, no. Like the, the like the old 450. And oh, you're thinking of Sinkovich. Sinkovich. I've always liked Sinkovich designs. Yeah, I like Sinkovich. Oh, yeah, Sinkovich. I've always really liked the Drunken, but I just couldn't justify the price. I think it looks badass. I love the Drunken. I love uh, Sinkovich designs. Okay, are we going to do the thing? Let's do it. Okay, so first cup. Yeah. Knife or bowl first? No, just, just. I want knife first. I know, How just stir know this it? up. Stir this up. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to grab it because we got a bunch to go through. And I got the pack this right here. It smells like vanilla protein powder. All right, so first up, I think a lot of people have this knife. We're going to go with the Cold Steel 4 Max. Big beast of a knife. I know a lot of people have it. Everybody's always talking about it in my comments saying that um, that's the biggest hard-use knife is their 4 Max or their AD-15 or their AD-10, which... This is bigger than the 8010 for sure. So, but I think you could definitely put it in the same category. A beast of a knife. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we got the big ass Formax. <laughs> this is too easy. What? Would you take okay, it? Okay, some of them you can just throw back in. Would there, you no? take it camping? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Obviously, that would be like the perfect I knife. think that this, that's about what this thing is. It's like good. what it is. Okay, so now we're supposed to kind of talk about it. So, I think that that's what this knife is, is a camping knife. You put it back in there. I don't want to. Why? Let's put them back in when we go through them all, so we get a variety. Oh. And then I'll put them back in. Well, the thing is that, never mind, it doesn't matter. But the point was just to have them in there, because you never know what's going to show for what knife. You want me to put it back in? It doesn't matter. Well, um, if, how about I'll put it in, and if we get it again too soon, then I'll pick a different one. Okay, I'm just going to get through this pretty quick since we've been talking about it for five minutes and haven't talked about it. Um, but I think that's about what this thing is good for, is camping. I don't think it's good for much else. You could have it on a job site, like if you did construction, like in your truck or something, I think. And then maybe use it for light prying and um, maybe something to chop with sometimes. <laughs> Imagine but. taking the McBee camping. I would do that. I know, sure. I would. think it could still be useful in its own right. Let's be fair. Okay, so... Let's get to the next one. I'll trade you a React T4000 for it. It's not mine, so what? I can't trade you. I want to do um, this knife. Okay, next up is the North Arm Skaha. Skaha. Okay. In oh, let me see if I can get this. I want to see if I can get this blade up here. Oh, I highly doubt it with this BS. If you guys can't see it, it's got like a ripple in the blade. It's got like lines. I know you guys probably can't see it. But if you're on a computer or a smartphone, you can look up the North Arms Skaha and I find one. I think it lives up to the hype, people. What is that the question? Does it live up to the hype? That was a question in there. Is it really? Yeah. I was just talking about my booty. All right, let me see. Is it a good value? Okay, first, let's look up the value. Okay. The value, Name that value. What do you guys think the value the of value. a North Arm Skaha this is? This is S35VN and carbon fiber specifically. Is it S35? Yeah. Made in BC. 
You've been on the the waiting list for over a year now, Sergeant. Oh wow! Damn. I remember I told you that. Are they that cheap? No. Okay. Uh -huh. I was like, let's get one now. Is it a Skaha two or? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doesn't matter. It's an S thirty five, so. Mm -hmm. Come on, internet. All right. Does anybody know the actual price of... I, That's nice, Sergeant. It. How much are they? $206.40. They're about two, Oh, I thought they were way more than that. Me too. They're more than that on the secondary market. I know that. Because I've seen people pay way more than that for them. Okay, so... <laughs> is it a good... So the question is, is it a good value? Hell yeah. I would say so. I, I would say yeah. I was going to say if it was $400 that it would... Well... Oh, yeah, I, I you know what, I think so, I think the problem is, is like, uh, Knife Sergeant said, he's been waiting for over a year, so if you spend $200 on a knife, think about it, you could have gotten, you could have spent $200 a hundred times over well, before you get it. maybe that's what makes it so special. Yeah, the weight? Yeah. It's so light, it's insane. Yeah, it but the, the contouring and the handles. Yeah, it's, it's very, normal. very, very comfortable. See, I, I see the carbon fiber one, 275. 275? Now 250. Well, okay. that's like what someone's selling it for secondary. Okay. So we'll say uh, between, between two, two and three hundred dollars. Um, I would definitely say it's worth it. Um, the weight, I don't know if I w could wait a year for a knife like that because I feel like I would just put that money into something else. Lindy so, said they're a very small company, but yes. company, but due to the Shabazz effect and the fact they made insanely good product, their wait lists are insane. Yeah, and their waiting list is insane, and their weightlessness is insane. It is so weightless. Like, it's so light. It's insane how light, light it is. Okay. I would love to feel one in all titanium. All right, next, next up, the... Pelican, QSP Pelican. My car to handles, S35 V. And you guys can answer these questions too, right? Yeah, you guys are supposed to be these answering are, these like damn questions, all not of us. just us. Okay. In reference to the QSP Pelican, if you were thinking about buying it, what channel are you watching on it? Okay, so if you were going to buy this, what channel are you going to look up to see information on it or their opinion on it first? Probably like whenever, and you can't say Neves knives. Whenever I'm checking, they weren't going to. I know, they were. I know <laughs> they were. I know they were. Um, Q one fiend Neves knives clearly. No, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. I Thank you. really, when I look up a knife and I genuinely want to hear a review, there's two people that I go to for myself. The okay. first one is Stasa. Yeah. Because for whatever reason, yeah. we're simpatico on our knife loving tastes, and honestly. I know it's cliche, but Nick Chabaz, yeah. because he just gets it's to the funny. fucking point. It's funny. I was going to say the same thing, and the, the, the reason, my, my reasoning is different. Four one-minute night reviews. My reasoning is different. So my reason why I would look up Stasa 23 is, one, because I know he uses his knives. Your mom said I would talk to my son. You're so sweet, Mom. <laughs> um, I know he uses his knives, so he's going to come at it from a perspective of w what it actually feels like to cut with and use and stuff like that. Nick Shabazz, I would go to him because he'll critique it. He'll critique the things that might you might not like. Now, I wouldn't take his opinion on if it was good or not because I know this is a big knife. He doesn't like big knives. He likes smaller knives. So... And I know, like, just like with any reviewer, there's certain things. Like, say if I said, oh, it's a big knife, it's too big for me, you <laughs> might say, well, it's not for me, so that's just fine. And you can get past certain things that are their opinion. But if he says, the clip sucks, the um, the blade pokes you back here, stuff like that, like, he actually, he looks up, looks the knife up and down so much that I know I could take some of the bad things he says and take it, you know, Look to heart. Me. What? Read it in your head. Um, you no, can't... in your head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> next. Um, do you want to pick the next one or do you want me to? I want to pick. Let's do lamb chop. Okay, lamb chop's next. No, actually, I want to do shard. Uh, yeah, pick stuff that people can actually Let's do the shard. Let's do the shard because she's new to the family. Can you hold her? Okay. The Kaiser Shard. My cardinal blade steals us. 
N690 and my Carta. Now you can get basically the exact same knife from Concept Knives in G10, my Carta, or fake carbon fiber. They are both Dirk Pinkerton designs. Okay, the question is, in regards to the Kaiser Shard, Very is it though. a good work knife? I have not brought it to work, but I can already tell you, hell to the yeah. Okay, I would and say absolutely let me, not. No, right. let me let me extrapolate. Yeah, go ahead. The reason why, I'm not saying that it would be your only work knife. I'm not saying that if you went out into work or whatever like hard work you do, that this would be like the one. However, if it's like your secondary fifth pocket knife, or if you're a lady, it could be one of your primary knives, honestly. Um, or even if you're a lady and you have another knife and this is your backup, whatever. Point is, is that I'm telling you, it can do precision tasks, yes, scoring things. Uh, cutting, you know, bags, threads, string, tape, duct tape, anything like that. It's got the perfect blade shape for it. I know I could backwards grip it and cut straps with it. I'm absolutely sure it would work. Um, this thing can do a lot more than it looks like it could do because I've had other designs just like this from Kaiser. Take the Fire Ant, for instance. Really similar blade shape size, blade shape and size, but a slightly larger handle space. Fantastic. It's one of my most used work knives. All right, go. Okay, now I agree that it would be perfect for you at work. For me, I disagree. Now, it would Your work. hand would be weird. It would be, it's just too small for my hand. I, I, now, I do agree that I can cup it like this and use it for utility Cut. cuts just fine. So for just utility cuts, yes, it would work great. But I do have a lot of work or a lot of cutting in, at work that has nothing to do with utility cuts. And in that case, I can't use it. So I would just prefer a knife that I could both do utility cuts and slicing. So in that case, no, I say that this is a horrible work knife for <gasps> me personally. For you, I agree, yes. Okay. Okay, next. There's a one. Real quick, I just want to uh, make a comment on two separate comments. First, Kurt Andrews, you said, how about that Savivi push button? That is coming out real soon. Super fun. My only issue regarding that knife is I don't see a way to open it besides the button, and that That's annoys it. me. That's not um, And but, then Lindy, but, hold on, let me just whip through this real quick. And then Lindy said, the blade shape is perfect for destroying boxes, but the smaller blade length might be limiting or annoying. I absolutely agree with you. Um, if I was cutting a box flap with it, I really would have to limit the way I'm... Uh, the way that I cut in order to not hit the handle essentially or run out of blade that's why I appreciate the smaller knives like the Civivi McKenna with it where they still have that blade shape and they don't take up a ton of pocket room they're thin they're slim but the blade is like long and skinny and so you're able to conquer those tasks and it doesn't have that annoying choil that gets caught on things and stuff so that's a pretty good one okay so a couple things here evil E asked the question I'm gonna answer in one second but first Kurt Andrew said your wife should get the Pax 3 for flour. It what? is amazing. I don't know what that is. <gasps> I don't know what the Pax 3 is. Okay, um, what's up, B. Wallace? So, Evil E says, are Protex worth the money? I, I think yes and no. So, certain ones, yes. All of them, in my opinion, no. I like that they're built in America. I love that it's an American company. I love all that. But I think some of their knives are good are one purpose knives then some of their knives are multi-purpose knives and in, in that case i think it's great <laughs> but i think their geometry could get a little bit better um for cutting i think uh, there's a lot of companies out here right now that you can get such a big bang for your buck bang. so you're paying a lot for the name and i do think some of the knives like the protect malibu i think is amazing i think this is a great knife but I haven't reviewed it yet, so I still I'm on the fence about it until I review it. Now, other Protex that I have tried, yes, like the Protex Strider, I think that's amazing. The SNG, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Um, that thing's amazing. Um, it just depends on which one. But so yes and no. Um, now, what were we saying just a second ago? You were talking about oh the 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 elemental with the button lock. Now I. I agree with her. I don't like that there's not an, an opening aperture. I wish that there was either a thumb stud or a flipper tab. I don't, I'm not the guy who does this with their knife. I don't do that. I don't, like even with a button lock, yeah. I never push the button and go like that. Never do I ever do that in the day. I never do that. So to me, I don't care if it fidgets like this with the yeah, button. Yeah, that would drive me nuts. I want to flip it 
and flick it and then push the button. So I'm going to probably get it to review it, but then I'm probably going to put the quick stud on there. Or I'm going to tap it and I'm going to put my own thumb studs on it. It looks like it could possibly work. Or I thought about this too. Think about drilling a half a moon hole in it. I bet you it would work. It looks like it would work. I just, I hate, like, yeah, it probably would, but it just, but you, what kind of detent system do they have? What if it's like that one, where like. Where it locks itself out? Yeah, where you have to use the button. It, that would suck. I hope it's not like that. That's why yeah. I said I'm going to review it and I'll find out. If it works, then I think a lot more people will be uh, a lot, you know, more into it. But I don't think, I think it's going to be a big hit, but I also think it's going to be less of a big hit than people think because you have to push the button. And if you do have Blanco to push the button, you have to push the if button. you do have to I push the, the button, I believe it locks close. Ew! If it does lock close, then I think that's going to be a big downfall. Is there a, then they should have had a flipper, they should have did it like the Orbit then. If they were gonna do that sort of deal, they should have did it like the orbit where it locks closed, but you have a flipper tab to open it with and a button to close it with. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, that's like, what I agree. Like I agree. That. I agree. Ugh. Um, if you if that's I know okay, you have to push the button right now because there's no other way. But the question is, if it had thumb studs, could it open? Or do you have to push the button to use the thumb studs? If that's the case, then I'm going to review it and we'll find out. Uh, most Protex are autos, not assisted. Yeah, yes. I, yeah, yes, I just realized. I, well, because Mark was asking, are all Protex assisted? And I. You mean autos, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. switched it to autos in my brain and said, no, nine, they're not, about 95% are. 95%, yes. You can get the Malibu. Um, but yeah, the, autos, though. The, the Protex Ferrum Forge Mordax. That's, that's a really good. Um, it's a button lock, just like this. Or it's a flipper and a button lock. <laughs> and it's, it's manual. It's not Bree, auto. Bree says, riddle me this. No thumbs down. Minimal thumbs up. I don't think your viewers have thumbs. This Then why would they need thumb studs? <laughs> yeah, why do you guys need thumb studs? You guys don't even hit the like button. That's pretty funny. And don't tell me you do it with your pointer fingers. And also the big <laughs> fixed blade one, that's cool. I think it'll sell. But Jared definitely thought it was folding at first and it made him sad that it wasn't. Yes. Oh, the fixed blade? Yeah. yeah. He yeah. was like, look! And then... I was like, they finally made a large element because I've been screaming, make a big elementum. And then I seen it and I was like, I was so psyched about it. Then I found out it's a fixed blade. You know what they but say about... But the button about, lock uh, is a little bit bigger too. The button lock you is. You know what they... They say. literally disappointed me on both sides. I know. I know. They crushed my heart. Do baby. you know what they say about guys with big elementums? They have a lot of stuff to cut. You heard that, right? You heard that I one? Did hear that, yeah, yeah. The, me too. I, I heard did that hear too. that. All right. Um, um, okay, oh wait, next one. Damn, almost 100 Let's watching. All right, next one. Okay, ready? Yes. The PM2 and K390. We'll just say the PM2 all together. The, the Spyderco PM2. What's the question, babe? I'm pulling it out. That's what he said. Does it have <laughs> Does it have good geometry? I'm assuming you mean blade geometry, right? Um. Nah. Man, it's, it's in the middle. It's not good. It's not bad, but it's not good. I would say it's in the middle because good geometry to me, it, it, it would be at 10 thousandths behind the edge. It's 20 thousandths behind the edge. So I feel like the taper could be a lot thinner. Is it good? Like, is it okay? I mean, yes, it is. Is it like compared to something with great geometry? Then no, but it's not bad. I would never say the PM2 has bad geometry, ever. You'd never hear that out of my mouth, but it's not, like, amazing. It is decent, though. It's Because at 20 thousandths, I don't mind 20 thousandths, but to me it's like then make a little bit thinner blade stock or have the taper slower, so it should be a tall grind. The problem is, is that it's tall here but shallow here. So right here it's going to be not that great and this is where the majority of your cutting is done so for utility cuts it's phenomenal but i still think it's great i i love the pm2 i think it's a great knife great work knife great edc knife so let's get to the next one okay unless if you guys want to say something about so, okay, it okay well hold on i'm gonna just like having second thoughts on a comment i just made okay. greens and 373 said i actually i want to look up how an auto actually works and i said I can tell you. I said it's works. basically a loaded spring that releases when you hit the button. Yeah. In very simple terms. That's why when they're tough to close because you're re resetting yeah. the spring. Yeah, it's right? a, yeah. Okay. There's a couple different. I ways. just started like. There's a spring that usually wraps. Or there's a couple different versions, but there's a spring that wraps around, and then when you hit the button, it basically releases the springs. So now the tension 
goes. And it, then the tension uh, snaps the knife all the way open. That's why when you push the button to close it, you got to reload the spring. So you're, now you're pushing against the pressure. Okay, next. Ah! All right, next up. Let's Wait, I didn't really answer the PM2 one. Well, whatever. Do you want to? No, it's okay. It's it's really just the okay. shut and open thing. Okay, so now we're going to do a newer knife because I know a lot of people are getting it, and it's pretty popular. So, the new Civivi Pintail. Yeah. I just did a review on it. Yeah, yeah. It did have a great review, but it did have some negatives, like all, most knives, not all, most. Let's get a good Not one. all, not all, not all, but most. Um, still what, a fantastic what is this knife. Little piece of I paper? accidentally cut it then. Okay. It it is Wait. you wrote in like a weird way. It is its blade yeah. shape very useful. Yes. Absolutely. It's a hollow ground drop point of a decent size, a good EDC size. I would say the blade shape is probably one of, if not the, the most best part useful. About it. Yeah, part about the knife. Um I think it is what some people are calling the elementum killer for a couple of reasons. Yeah. Uh, the thumb suds for one, the, the the grind of the blade. I know elementum is hollow as well, but this one I think has a slightly more downward tip than the elementum, if I'm not mistaken. I, it has a deeper hollow grind. Yeah. I agree with everything you just said. Yay! I think that this is the exact you don't ever do that. version of a very useful blade. Not only is it a great blade shape, you can do utility cuts, belly cuts, and push cuts, but the geometry fits the build. This is some of the best geometry I've seen from Civivi, um, and yeah, it's amazing. All right, all right, all right, next knife. Next to the Actium. The Actium's probably, oof, it's such amazing geometry. All right, next knife. Um, it's Kapara. Kapara? Okay. Yeah. Spyderco Kapara. It's Jake from Ohio State. Guys, if you have never watched Jake from Ohio State, he has a really badass knife channel. Please take a moment to go And subscribe. don't go to the Jake from the insurance company. Or don't Jake go to, Paul. Don't go to you Jake Paul. You have to Paul. type in Jake from Ohio State with no spaces. No spaces. No spaces. And you'll find them. All right. In regards to the spider called Capara. 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 I said, like, my name. Capara. Cara. Okay. For EDC... What brand is better or can top it? So just for spider call? What brand? I don't know. You wrote it. Tell no, me what just, the hell that is. I don't uh, know what it okay. means. For EDC, for EDC, what knife brand could top this knife? Okay? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna let you guys answer that. This is the Spider Co Capara. What brand or of knife could top this? So Microtech, Benchmade, uh, Savivi, and we're talking about specifically for EDC. And this is actually a great EDC knife, so it's going to be hard to top. Like, if this was the Formax, you could pretty much pick anything. But for a Capara, it's kind of hard to beat. It does have a great EDC size, shape. It's just a great so EDC I knife. I, I, I'm really sorry. This was like a family thing, but what, what was the... Well, I didn't know okay, this is a, okay, this is a great EDC knife, so... For EDC though, yeah. what brand of knife yeah. or knife would you do you think can beat this for EDC okay. for everyday carry? While I'm looking at that, read that. Um, I think that um, just pull up. I think that ooh, a brand for EDC carry that could top this. If we're talking about something kind of similar in you know size and everything, why am I reading um, this? Because it's awesome. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I I don't know. I it's hard to. Am I supposed to think of a knife that's similar to this in a brand? Okay, Ronan says the nine forty. Um, what? that's a great answer. I'm gonna go with Ronan. I, I would disagree with that, but go ahead, keep going. Ronan says nine forty. Well, actually, this is um, a better. Mick says shape. the Spidey Chef. Um. Another person says 940. Seems logical says we is probably the only company. Great answer. Um, we got what is a must bench made? I lost my grip and need a replacement. Yeah, that sucks, man. I know the feeling, uh, but I've always found mine. Um, what's up, guys? That's easy. Manly knives. Okay, okay. 25 to knife says manly knives. Logan said the bug out. I hate the scales on the 940. I just got some titanium scales for the 940. Thanks to my bae. Michael Morgan says any hoag. What's up, Whisper? The knife flickers in the house. I don't know. 
Hey, know. Jared, have you checked out the spider code drunken? Here. I have not. I have not checked out the drunken. I love the drunken. Who said that? Didn't you just say you hated the drunken a minute no, ago? No, I was love it the drunken. Was design? No, I you said like, my I favorite. Hate. I literally was like you my said, I hate the drunken. I didn't say that. <laughs> did not. I've always loved the drunken. It's one of my babies that I don't have and probably never will. But I love the drunken. I love the milling and the titanium. It is beautiful and I like the blade shape. I okay. I'm going to say this now. Now remember, this is for EDC. Okay, so as just a knife, I would disagree with my answer. But specifically for EDC, I could argue that a lot of Civivi knives could outbeat this I would just for say everyday Kaiser. carry use. Because I'm, like, biased to Kaiser because I've just never had a Kaiser that I didn't like. Even the Kaiser that I had fucked up QC on, I still liked better than a lot of knives. Okay. So, like, for me, But I'm I just saying, this it. is an amazing EDC knife. Well, this seems very hard to I was trying to think of something that was comparable but better, and I just couldn't think of anything from Kaiser that was comparable to that that I think would be better. Um, you know, maybe, like, a normal size bag letter or something, but... I don't know. I was kind of thinking more like the Buck Marksman because it has an interesting lack style. It's a similar size and shape, and I personally think it's a better EDC knife than this one. Okay. Um, and so I'm. That's what I'm gonna go with is the Buck Marksman, specifically the Buck Marksman, not just okay. any Buck. Okay. So I would say so like this Actium, right? This thing is an amazing knife, amazing build, amazing EDC knife. But specifically for EDC, this is a hollow grind. This can be sharpened many more times than this one. This will be easier to sharpen over and over than this one. Um, this, you, you know, you can beat on a little bit harder and be less worried about the money. Um, this one, um, I mean, just, I guess... In some ways, it has better ergos. Um, it's a better slicer, a better cutter, uh, better utility cuts. I want to answer a question. So, okay, what? Jiggy Jade says, why do you say... Jiggy Jade? She says, why do you say... Okay, by the way, for any... I'm sorry, Jade, I'm putting you on blast just because this is funny. Jiggy Jade was in our last live, and she named a knife that she had just bought and said it was awesome. I looked it up, right? Word for word, it comes up as a frost cutlery knife, Okay. Huh. After the live, oh, she yeah, messages right. me and says, I was completely fucking around. I made that knife up. I could not believe you found something when you started looking it up. And what I, I don't even remember what the hell she said. It was like the Ravenclaw 5000 something or some shit ass knife. And she was like, too bad it couldn't have been a good knife. But uh, that shit was hilarious. And I cannot believe that you made something up and it was a legitimate knife word for word. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, to your question, the reason why I say some knives are like would be good, it's not that they're for ladies, it's just that they would be better for a lady. One of the big, big, big reasons is pocket space. Uh, or pocketless pants, which a lot like right now the pants I'm wearing, totally pocketless. So this shard, for instance, I can slide it in to, like in just on my actual pants, and it's not gonna like grind into my hip bone or anything. It's relatively small, so uh, the size just matters in reference to pocket space, but also your hand size. Typically, most women are going to have smaller hands than men, um, and if they don't have smaller hands, they can still, there's, you know, larger knives, but there are some knives that are just more accommodating to a woman. Yes, you can carry a bigger knife in your purse, but I advocate against purse carry as your main source of carry. I will put a knife in my purse only if I accidentally forget a knife, and that's why it's in there, and that's it. The likelihood of you actually in some sort of a situation being able to get and dig through your purse to pull out a knife is kind of silly. And if you're working and you need it consistently, I do, Mike. then you need it in your pocket anyway. So, you know, that's why some knives are more geared towards women, in my opinion, versus a man. We we review high-end knives all the time. Um I think the 8020 fits good in my yoga pants. I agree. Neck knife carry. I do have the um the artisan sea snake. Um, at what point will you review high end knives? I do all the time. Um, I do all the time. I do all the time. I do all the time. And yes, you do have to remind uh, who was it, Mojo, to oh. hit the like button a hundred times before he does. So we're just gonna keep reminding everybody to hit the like button. Dawn, Next. Dawn literally goes time for rock stuff. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Did, how, how, how many likes we got? I don't know. Mine's oh. probably not up. There. Okay, so next knife is going to be the Benchmade 940. This is mine right now. This is my soon to be 940. I have the 940 1 in carbon fiber, but soon I will have the 940. Oh, that looks so dope. I know. It's going to be the so bad. Like Just wait till I match the blue back spacers with blue screws. I'm going to get some blue hardwares. 
Oh shit! Oh, it's gonna 80 be likes. that's why she said that. Fire! Because you're at eighty. So, well, first we're gonna do the nine forty. Hit the question, then we will bust out the Rocky. Rock. Studman. That's the name of the rock. Said Rock. I thought it was uh, Studman. Studman? Who yeah, named Rock's it Studman? Me. Did you? Yeah, Studman. I thought I named it okay. Rocky. In reference to the Benchmade Mr. Balboa. What? In in reference to the Benchmade 940, could it be your only knife? My answer would be hail to the no. And the reason why is because I feel like if it was my only knife, that means I'd have to keep sharpening it, and I don't feel like the blade geometry this is, is just going to get thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. That's my the way biggest the grind issue. Is. Um, and sorry, I know that was going to be your answer, and I just jacked it from you. But anyway, it's also, it's too long for me. For you, um, yeah. That's not what she ever said. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things where, for me, it could not be my only knife. If it had to be, I'd survive, but in the long run, it wouldn't be good for continuous sharpening due to the thickness of the blade. As you grind it down, it's just going to get thicker if behind it, the edge. If it had a good hollow grind, then I would say yes. But since the geometry is so bad on it then no, it could not be my only knife, but it is an amazing EDC knife. Next up, let's hit the rock set real quick. Bang! Get a long good hit of that rock We'll do the rock set in one of these questions, but not this one yet. Not this one. Maybe if we get 100 likes. We'll maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe. You guys never hit 100. Uh, one time you guys did. Um, yeah, for your nipple. Next up. Another Benchmade, the Benchmade Griptilian Large. This one's an S30V. All right. Hopefully we'll have titanium scales one of these days. Okay, so in reference to the Benchmade Griptilian. The sheep's foot. The sheep's foot one with the hole specifically. Does it impress you? My answer is actually... Hell yeah. yeah. And gosh. good night, Andrew. Have a wonderful night. Good night, Andrew. Thanks um, for coming through. For me, it absolutely impresses me. May I see the specimen? Thank Blood you. Clone the um, okay, I typically think like, okay, big, giant, bulky knife, like, not going to work for me, right? What is this thing gotten like, I can't flick it. Is Oprah's husband? I've never had a, a Stedman, that's his name. That's all. Op- he's not her husband. It's like her long-term boyfriend, but his name is Stedman. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. So that. <laughs> this knife, I was very impressed by when we bought it because I love how freaking like clicky and clunky it is. And yes, it's a big clumpy knife, but like that's the whole grip tilling point. Is that like it just fills your hand. It has that grip. Yeah, I know the FRN sucks, but I'm sure the G10 would be even more impressive. Even for my small hands, the ergonomics are really incredible. And, um, you know, I think that it's a little overpriced for FRN. I think that about pretty much every Benchmade knife. But it does impress me. The whole, the sheet's foot blade, like, the smoothness of the access lock, the sounds it makes. Um, I do feel very irritated that they switched to flat grinds and now the only way you can get a hollow grind is with the G10 version. No, you can't get it at all. Now you can't get it at all. Well, when they had it set up like that, I thought it was very money grubby. And once they ran out, they stopped. Um, so that, that part sucks. But other than that, if you're okay with a big knife, um, I would say, hell yeah, go for it. And if you're not okay with a big knife, get the mini one because it's freaking amazing. Okay, a couple things. Matt, thank you very much. Um, I actually have a lot of family in Mississippi. Um, a lot of my, on my mom's side, um, a lot of them came from Mississippi. My grandpa lived in Mississippi. My grandma lived in Mississippi. I have a bunch of family down there in Mississippi. Guys, what Benchmade should I get? If you like, um, medium, um, regular size knives and probably the bug out. If you like bigger knives and I would say, or the bug out or the 940. Um, if you want better geometry, then go for the bug out. But if you want a full-size work knife, then I would go with the Griptilian or the Freak. The Freak is a badass knife. I haven't had one, but... Um, and then Ronan says go with the Hogue RSK all day. I love the Hogue RSK, but I honestly like the sheep's foot hole better If they than, made that in Ritter, the yes. Ritter, I would say Ritter. But, yes. If they well, made, it's know. just a better deal. There's you get, a certain quality to this one that I kind of like. I don't know why. It's just like... For a little bit, for less money, because for the G10 version of this and 20 CV version of this, for even cheaper, you can get the Hogue um, RSK. For the same materials, cheaper. Hey, one thumbs down, perfect. Jared, you suck. You got a thumbs down. Because actually, you, thank I have you, thank three you. thumbs down on my screen. Because he he put up a message and he was like, "If you guys aren't liking the video and that means you don't like it, show Jared how much he sucks and dislike the video." Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing for letting me know how much I suck. Maybe they think I suck. I wish I knew what I was doing okay, so I'm wrong. Okay, I'm picking a knife. 
Maybe it's what I'm doing. Maybe it's just my female. I don't think it has anything to do with you. I think it's my female presence. It's and they're definitely like, get this hoe ass bitch out of the It's world. never been you. It's always Literally, been Literally, we have gotten comments before that are like, I can't listen to this channel because there's a female talking about knives and females and knives don't mix. That was a literal comment we got. I agree, it Ronan. Happens. I, I don't know I about that. I just don't give a fuck. I agree, Ronan. If I had tried the freak, I haven't tried the freak, so I can't speak on it. But the way it looks, in my opinion, I, I want to agree with you because so many people love the freak. I just really like the whole aperture with the access lock. I just love it. So I'm And also, I love the sheep's foot blade shape. I um, love this blade shape. If this thing was a hollow grind, this would be like... If it had good geometry, this is going to be such an amazing EDC knife. Um, let me answer Blood Clown. He says, why is it called Neves Knives when Jared mostly uploads? So, first of all, Neves is, like, possessive, so it's Neves Knives. So, whether it's one of us or both of us, it, our last name is Neve, not Neves. So, it's Neves Knives. My um, knives. So, it, yeah, it's his our knives. knives. Our, our knives. knives, his knives, my knives. Doesn't really matter if it's one or two people. But, What's up, if Alex? you go back into the history of our channel, for the first almost year that we were doing this, it was both of us consistently. But I took on a larger role. I started managing the Starbucks. Takes up too many hours. I get up early. I'm tired of shit when I get home. I just want to fucking play video games or whatever. So, I do two lives every week, and that's my involvement. I do participate in Thank you, Alex. the giveaways. Most of the time, and um, sometimes a review if it's a knife that I particularly have a lot to say about. Um, but that's why it's called that. I mean, we still both are involved. I help a lot behind the scenes. Um, and and it's what you, it is, yo. And if you guys that don't know Alex's knife box, go subscribe to his channel. He has an amazing knife channel with high-end, amazing, amazing knives. Some knives you'll probably never see on this channel. Very awesome knives. Go check it. He also has regular knives, too. But go check his channel out. Nice Great thing. channel. Uh, Professor EDC, same thing to Professor EDC. Go check his channel out as well. He also speaks Spanish, so if you uh, speak mostly Spanish, um, you can uh, you know, definitely communicate Ooh, through Professor him high easier. Yes. That's awesome. Um, oh, that's BS. I talk about blades with my girl all the time. I read her my articles for the magazine to see what she thinks. I think that's amazing. I think having a good hobby that you can relate with your significant other, or at least if they understand to an extent, I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good thing that leads to a long-lasting relationship. And having hobbies with your significant other, I think, just makes a better relationship. Okay, um, this uh, is going to be our next knife. Okay, our next knife is the Sheepdog in a Micarta Kaiser Sheepdog. This is the, the regular full-size version, not, not the, the XL, XL and not the Mini, even though we are going to get... We have a Mini, but we're going to get the Mini one with the Let's just the say the Sheepdog aperture. in general. Sheepdog in general. Well, it has to be a size, though. I'm going to say this one, so go oh, ahead. Fine. Fine. Um... <laughs> what is it mostly used for? So I want to speak on this one first. Oh. So back in the day, Jared would have said not shit but being a novelty um, until he got one more his size. And now I think he sees the value in what it's used for. What I use it for is anything you use any other knife for. And I think there is some controversy over this being silly because it's a cleaver shape. I've seen much sillier cleaver shaped knives and I just don't think this is one of them. I think it's very useful. Thanks, Alex. Let me come over. Okay, my shirt is too short for this, guys. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to hold it down. <clears throat> How's it going? Wait, it's this one. How's it going? <laughs> for any of you that don't okay, know what the hell that just <clears throat> was, I act out all the stickers that are given to us. I would say it's mostly used for two things. One, it's a mega slicer for cardboard. And if you've ever cut up your cardboard or recycling with it, it works amazingly well. Next thing, it's a great utility knife it's a, just like a razor it's just like a heavy duty razor so for utility cuts and slicing this thing actually works very very well it's actually a very good work knife so yeah um yeah. if you've ever tried it you would know like take this thing to cut up your recycling you will see that this thing is a champ the geometry is really good and with the tip i know it's not like um like like this but the, the tip is nice and thin, and mm -hmm. you get so much weight behind that, that little tip that it works really good for utility cuts. Yeah, it does. It does. All right. All right, next. Let me pick another one. I haven't picked a lot. Okay, she's Let's picking another one. Let's do the, this one, the um, CJRB, uh, is it Malaya? 
I yes. always F them up. The Malaya. The Malaya. For those of you that don't know, I learned that Swags, the girl that designed this knife, she named it after her friend Leah, I believe, that passed away. So, like, my Leah. Malia. I'm just learning that. Malia. My <coughs> Like, it's, really? it's after her friend Leah that no died. No shit, I didn't My know Leah. that. I did not know that. Yes, okay, so... You guys are familiar with Blink Blade Sphinx? No, I can look it up. Um, I believe so. Well, look it up really cool. quick so I can look at it. I think so. I think I know exactly which, what knife you're talking about, but let me make sure. The Blink Blade Sphinx. Man, Blink I feel Sphinx. like I know that knife. I gotta look at it. Um, Douglas was acting like a biatch. Scaring cats earlier. He's always doing that. Always doing that. We he's can't barely take him for walks out. anymore. Every time we take him for a walk, he's always chasing. That one that looks like a spatula. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a spatula. Mm -hmm. I do know what this one is. Yeah, very cool. Jared, do you ever check out the Hans Wolverine? No, I have not. It's a We Made Micro Brand. <clears throat> we probably does the best job for micro brands. We and React. Um, the the next best, or actually probably the best off all of them is Custom Knife Factory, then React, then We. I think that that's the way the list would go down, <clears throat> in my opinion. Even the fact that you have two views on small hands and big hands is great. And I got some great ideas for knives, which you guys for buying for women in my family. Yeah, I, that, that is definitely a benefit to have because I know a lot of people have said that to us. and Or even asked. Them. I had somebody after a review, all they wanted to know was, what does Kara think about it? Does it fit in her hand because he was trying to buy it for his girlfriend? I think it was his girlfriend or his wife, and he wanted to know what she thought about it. And then she messaged him and told him what she th thought about it and if um, it was any good. And then I think she even gave him better options. Yeah, I, I frequently have responded yeah. to messages about people trying to find knives for um, females in their life. So if that, um, or just a smaller person, even a child, I would be helpful yes, with. Yes, I can. Um, mm. so if you guys ever have that scenario, you know, you, I do respond to DM, DMs on Instagram. I look at them every day. Um, a lot of times I am the one who alerts Jared to like one that's been there for sharpening or something. So I look at them frequently. So if that ever happens, you guys are absolutely welcome to ask my opinion, even in if I wasn't hand? in the review. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Ooh. somebody asked no, what, I hey, can't. hey, what? somebody asked what, um, a knife would be like really good for fidgeting where like they could just with an easy lock where they wouldn't get tired. And I recommended the griptilian with the hole. I honestly genuinely think that's one of the yeah. best ones for that. But I also said if they could find it's an orbit, C, thank if you. they could find an orbit, they won't. But if they could, <clears throat> they won't. Um, thank you, Mr. So, C. You are always donating, and we highly appreciate it. Protect Malibu. You won't never get sick of flicking this. That's very good. Um, if you're looking for like a oh, liner yeah, the lock, smock, the smock is a good one. Any of the sun cuts are really good. These things are very, very easy to fidget with. Uh, great detents on these sun cut knives. Um, any PM2 is really good. They're very fidgety. Um, they're just harder to use left-handed because the, the locking system is set up for a right hand. Um, Alice's channel got me hooked. Hey, oh. Mojo, thank you. <clears throat> Alice's channel got me hooked on oh. Zeba's, Zeba Designs. Just picked one up from mm. the Bell Songs. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me. The Zeba Designs are amazing. I love the, um... The, like, we checked one out that had, because you know it has the skulls. They usually always have skulls incorporated on the back spacer or inside the knife that's very hard to find unless if you really look at it. And the one we tried and checked out had the skulls were done out of silver, pure silver, in the back spacer. So, what the hell are you doing? So the doing my job. So, the back spacer right here was skulls in silver. It was amazing. Thank you, Mojo, very, very much, man. We really appreciate all the donations. You guys are amazing, man. I'm Thank hot. you. I've been doing gymnastics. <clears throat> I've been flying on rockets. I've been posing yeah, she has. and and doing whatever the hell that just she was. She puts that, that I did. work in. And hell then Jiggy yeah. J just gave a, a dab. Um, I've never oh dabbed boy. before, and I don't ever want to dab again. Should stuck to pair. <laughs> My Zeba Bally is the Momentum Mori. Has skulls, <laughs> spacers. I seen um. I seen that, and then I seen, uh, was that you who did the take? Yeah, 
It was you on Instagram. You did a Ziva takedown and it showed the inside of the scales. And on the inside of the scales, it was all skulls. That's amazing. We didn't do That's this badass. Yet. What the fuck? Okay, what's the question? Why well, you the C J R B Malaya front flipper thumb stud action? Best part of this knife. Okay, what do you think the best part of this knife is? I think the best part of this, if I, I, and let's just pick one. Let's not say, like, we always do that. And we're like, and yeah, the thing, and the thing, and the no, thing. No, no, you only pick one. Okay, the absolute, let me see it. I gotta, I gotta channel my energy here. Uh, not the front flipper. Thumb studs are okay. Oh, they're good. Um, I, I would say that the thumb studs are the best part. Okay, you say that. I'm gonna say the, the ergonomics, the shape. And I'm going to say the shape to cheat and get two answers, which would include the ergonomics and the blade shape all in one. So the overall shape, but for two reasons. One, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's a, you hold it like this, like a little pitch grip. Well, if your hand is small enough, you can actually lock it into this swoopy shape right here and be just locked into that motherfucker. Like, it's not going nowhere. And the, it's amazing, and I love that. And then along with that goes the shape of the blade as well, which is my favorite. I love downward tips. Yes, it is on bearings. Yeah, most of them do have skulls. Um, at least all the ones that I've seen so far. I don't think I've seen any um of them of the Zeba knives without skulls. I don't really I'm like back. the. I'm back. Had to be an adult for a bit, and that happens. Um, that I happens. don't really like the front flipper on the Mulia. Honestly, I think it's a little awkward. Uh, just because the knife is so small, it's almost like I feel like I'm swallowing the knife to be able to grip it the right way. Um. Matt says, I ain't got no money. I was just I'm responding sorry, to that. Oh, okay. It's right, fine. Sorry. All I was going to say was yeah, we absolutely okay. don't need a dime. Your yeah. viewing and commenting and being here with us is absolutely amazing. And anybody that does want to donate but does not want to share it with uh, YouTube at all, you guys can always PayPal us. We absolutely appreciate the donations we get through PayPal or become a... Um, Patreon. A Patreon. At least that way you get to be in a giveaway. Yeah, and you get to give, you're in a giveaway every single month if you're a patron. And right now you can save 10% if you pay for a whole year and then you don't have to pay every month. You it's like pay 30 one something time dollars at the lowest tier. For the lowest tier, yeah. To get in 12 giveaways guaranteed. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. But you can always go for a higher tier. Uh, Same giveaway though. La, 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 la. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do the, do we do the penguin? Because Alex suggested, I think this is a the good penguin, Yeah, let's do the penguin. Where's the pangy? Oh, uh, <laughs> shit. I think it's, uh. You guys remember the penguins from uh, Super Mario? They were like, I don't know where the penguin meh, is. Meh, meh, meh. You remember those from all, like Mario Kart and Super Mario 64? And they would. We're going to do. Meh. Remember those? Nope. You. I'm sorry. The you literally, even Super from Mario, Mario Kart, remember they're blue and white, and they, right. they go like this, they're on the icy... Oh, yeah, yeah, go, yeah, 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 And yeah, then yeah. they go, meh! Yeah, that definitely told me now, yeah. Meh! <laughs> the QSP penguin. <laughs> I used to throw those penguins off a cliff. Yeah. Denim micarta, they also come in Hello? other micarta, D2 or S35VN. What's the question? These are about twenty-five dollars for the D two version, around fifty something dollars. Fifty something dollars for the S thirty five VN version. Some of the best micarta on the market for the price. Does, it, does it have blade geometry? I think every knife good, has good blade geometry. I'm just saying, you know what it does meant. it have blade slash Oh, blade slash handle geometry. Okay. So in this example, I would say yes. So what that means is, does the handle match the blade? Sometimes you get a knife where the handle's really like tiny. The ratio? You're talking about like blade to handle ratio? Yeah, the blade to handle geometry. So meaning like, say if you had a knife with a little tiny thin handle, but then it has crap geometry. So the blade doesn't go through materials good. So now when you use it, it just hurts your hand to use. Or maybe it has a really thick handle, but then a really thin blade. It just doesn't make sense. Like sometimes, you know, like when you have a really thick handle, that's a little bit for hard use so does it make sense i would say in this example yes because the geometry really is not bad it's not great but it's not bad but you can absolutely get a full grip with the handle it has a perfect thickness for the depth the action's great but that has nothing to do with what i'm talking about but the leverage you can get into the tip works really good for utility cuts i would say yes the handle to blade ratio works really good Somebody, what do you think I 
Uh, what do you guys think? I, I know a lot of you guys have it. I agree. Um, I wanted to say something, though, because somebody said... I can't find the exact... Oh, yeah, it seems logical. said, what knife has bad blade geometry? Okay, the 4MAC. The 4MAC has bad blade geometry. The 940 has bad blade geometry. Oh, that's the answer. I want to answer. The Griptilian has friend. bad blade geometry. Keep going. Go. 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 The ZTO 450. The ZTO 450 has bad blade geometry. Name another. You want another one? I'm sure I... I'm just looking at knives and I can tell you. Uh, um... Um... Hinders have bad blade geometry. Most Protex have bad blade geometry. Uh, most Microtex have bad blade geometry. Um, some spider codes, you know, give or take, just depends. Um, yeah, a lot of knives. There's probably more knives have bad blade geometry than good. The um, ZT0460 Persian? Well, just based off the fact that it's a Persian, I'm going to say bad. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're talking about Most TVs, CRKTs, I like Persian cats. The, the hollow ground CRKTs aren't bad. Um, but yeah, I agree. There are a lot of CRKTs that have horrible geometry. Because it just doesn't make sense. Knives are made to cut. And like I always use this as an example. If your blade is thicker than my pry bar that I pry 2x4s with, the geometry is shit. Um, because it's a cutting utensil. Now, I do agree there's... Go off, baby. Go off. Where you need... There is a point to where you <laughs> need strength in your knife, and certain steels heat treated at a certain point will be a little bit more fragile than, say, a pry bar, because the, the, the heat treat's different and the steel's different. But it's about the taper. You can have a thick spine and have a hard use like a uh, spine, but the taper down to the edge needs to be set up for sharpening and cutting. If it doesn't have both of those, you know, then it's got bad blade geometry. Okay, next. Did everyone smash that damn like button? How many do we at? I want to see. What are we at? We have 78 watching. We are losing a lot of people. I can see that. We had over 101. I now we have 84. 84. 93 likes. Damn. Can, I have 96 likes. If every knife has perfect geometry, they all would look the same. Agreed. And, I, and I've said this before, that I don't think all of them need amazing geometry. Yeah, what do like, they get for 100 likes? I would likes? not expect the Formax to have amazing geometry. I wouldn't. What do they this get is a hard-use knife. What? What do they get for 100 likes? Um, I, I don't know. thought they got the rock set again or something. I don't know. Again? Well, I don't know. What are we going to give them? You want to give something away? We could do a giveaway. We could do a giveaway. Why don't see. we give away, uh, we got a button lock we, we can give one? away. What? No. No. <laughs> I, okay. Fuck shit. Sorry. We could give away, oh, we got the, that, uh, the swags knife. We have two of them. Yeah, let's do it. The button lock swags knife. We could do that. Let's do the purple. Ow, my fucking foot. This stupid chair hurts so bad. All right, we're at 101. Y'all, y'all did it. Keep, keep the likes going, though. We appreciate it. Is this which one? The is three the dislikes one? don't count for likes. Oh yeah, so that yeah, you guys, we need two more likes because it's negative because of the three yeah, dislikes. We need, no, we need more now. What oh, do you so have? We, the mine's that? live. Oh, well, so, I thought mine was live. So if you guys want to give one, we're gonna have to even that bitch out. We need one more. Let me refresh. Um, baby, is this the right one or is this one mine? Uh, I don't. Think okay, we're even. 103 to three. We're good. We're good. It does fit in yoga pockets. This Absolutely. one is yours. Okay, well, where is the other? Oh, here it is. Because okay. the other one has a factory edge. It's brand new. Brand. And it was gifted to us by Mr. Amazing, so... Okay, yeah, this is it. All right. So, we're going to do a giveaway. And I... So Did we hit 100? Here. Yeah, they we're even. We're even. See? You motherfuckers. You guys I should do it. You are lazy. Lazy, lazy. ass motherfuckers. See, we guys, shouldn't even give it. We should just not do it now. Yeah. No, no, we're taking now it we back. Now we got the likes, motherfuckers. <laughs> Did they take back the dislikes? No, but they evened out to like, because I said it cancels them out, so they got they had to get to 103. Oh, I see. Now, now it's funny how fast you guys Man, can hit that like bing, button bing, when there's bing, something bing, on the bing. line. Man, <laughs> and you know we can see who's liked it, so if you didn't like it, you don't get to win the giveaway. <laughs> <Knife> Sergeant. <laughs> this is good. I was worried about it fitting in my yoga pants. <laughs> no way that's the damn knife. I oh, want we already knife. got another Can't dislike. get Malibu left. I want that sway back. <laughs> that's super funny. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to give away the Kaiser Swayback. Um, what style of giveaway shall we do? Pick a number. That's always the best because then less likely chance of two people hitting at the same time. 
Okay. What time is it? We'll do it in 10 minutes. How about that? Fuck that. Let's do it now. You're going to do it right now? Hell yeah. We yeah. got most people here now. Let's give everyone a shot at this. Um, I thought... I thought uh, What's up, Dion? No, this is... It. We have two of uh, these. <laughs> Dion liked it twice on two different devices. <laughs> smart. Smart man. Smart um, man. That's amazing. So, yeah, no, we have two of these. So, like, mine is staying in the collection. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> gave us a repeat, so... I'm just going to block everyone so only I... Oh, man. <laughs> Mad control. Breeze, you won. If Now, Breeze, if you win... It's going to look gonna be, so bad. It's going to be suspect as fuck. Sus. I love when people say that. So sus. Alright, okay. So. Yeah, you did. We're going to do loud. a number. Let me get a piece of paper so it's not shitty. Yeah. Yeah. Where's so, the pun? So you're, you're like, uh, you know, just going to be like, okay. Breeze, I guess Breeze won. Yeah, it's first, like, first. pick who I want to win. Ow, my Here, hair. there's a pen right here, baby. I need paper. There's paper right next to you. I need papel. Necesito papel. Here. Okay. How do you like them apples? Y pluma. Rip another one. Okay. Um, there's, there's only gonna be three contestants, the three mods. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Let me write down a number. Um, Monster sure raising hand is sunlight. So we're not gonna do as big of a range as last time because you guys sucked ass last time, and this went on for like 25 there's minutes. There's a hundred people in here almost, so we'll say, no, we should definitely do like one out of 250, right? We'll do 200. That that literally. Because people keep guessing the same numbers over and over and over and over. It's going to go really quick if you That's say fine. It can go fine. quick. Fine. Now, listen. We're going to do this. And our eyes are going to be glued to the screen. We are both. Are you on live chat? I'm on live chat. I was on live chat. It I has was. to hit our computer, not yours. I'm, I'm going to explain this loud and clear one time. It can look like your comment is first on your end because it is you on your computer and it does not show up the same way it does on ours. Ours will be identical. We're going based off our computer and how it hits. And thank you, Professor EDC. I'm literally trying to learn Spanish, so I appreciate that. Um, don't pick 42. Just so you know, don't pick 42. I see that. You guys are fucking with me. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a number and let me see it. Don't pick yet. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to type go in the chat. Anything before my comment doesn't matter. All right? Go. All right, pick a number between 1 and 200. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going so fast. A lot of people. We need some music for these. Oh my goodness. My eyes are starting to water because I'm trying not to blink. Wait, what's the Jeopardy song? It's like do 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 Yeah. Do 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 Do, 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 do. Meow, meow. Oh, Man, you guys suck. Somebody was really close, though. I've seen a couple people really Man, close. Man, it makes me sick when somebody's literally one digit off. Oh, Q1 Fiend. Of course. Of course you would get it. Q1, Q1 Fiend. Fiend got it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Double check it. Well, then I don't want to hear everybody say that they got it. He was back behind. Because okay, you guys oh, are you probably guys gonna stop. get it now. I know that there's gonna be a million numbers coming in like after <sighs> because that's usually how it goes, but the number is twenty-nine. 
It looks like Q and Fiend got it. Jared, I was watching live. Jared was behind double checking. I promise you, we both are on live chat. All right, so that is so funny that he won because for those of you that don't know, uh, Q and Fiend literally wins everything on our channel. Not the giveaways, but like trivia and stuff, and it's funny. It's funny. So and you know Q and Fiend, you won. What? Yeah, nothing. What? Nothing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Everyone say congratulations to Q and Fiend. Let's be. Good What's sports? up, Ross? You just missed the giveaway. Oh. But we do have another knife coming up. Let's pick a question. Okay, so, Fiend, you know what to do. Don't can have any, to tell you. Can anyone confirm Q1 Fiend is not AI? <laughs> 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 yeah, so that's awesome. You definitely uh, you definitely won according to my uh, screen and Jared's, and I'm really excited that uh, you're going to get this. It's a really awesome knife. I hope purple is your color because that's the color we have. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. So next is the CJRB Feldspar. What's what? the question? Oh, well, you made that sound like you were giving it away. You realized that, no, right? No, no. You did, I did make not. it sound like I'm that. I meant from the bucket. Do you, you want, want to, to stop give it doing away? that? You want to stop doing this? Do you start you talking? Want to give it away? We'll just start talking. Do no, you, I can't. No, that to? was a gift. Okay. You said it weird. No, no, no. If we were going to give something away, we could give away something I just reviewed, but. Um, that was that was. Uh, we'll save it for the next one because I gotta still finish reviewing it. Okay, all right. No, so let's do another knife. You want to do that uh, CJRB feldspar? Do you want to do that? Or you want to just continue the chat? Like, I mean, let's do a couple more because it's only nine oh five. Okay, we'll go we're just gonna do a couple more. So the next one is the CJRB feldspar. What's the question, baby? The question is, and then after one more knife, then we'll just get back to the chat and chit chat with you guys. And you guys can always write your opinions on these questions. It's kind of weird for this, isn't it? No, actually, this one does is have it? a lot of hype. Okay, so the question is, is the hype real? Is the hype real on the CJRB Feldspar? I want to know what you guys think, because I know at least 50 of you have the Feldspar. Whether it's a small one, large one, do you guys think the hype is real? No. This knife got a lot of hype. I don't like it. So we got a no, a yes. You say no? I, I don't like the way the scales feel. I think they feel kind of... Really? I like the way Let me see it. Let me feel again. Evil E says yes. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't like the colors, the gold pivots. Here. I mean, the action's all cool and everything. You can dye it, baby. I understand. I don't like the gold... I'm going to dye the gold pivot collar. No. How? No, How do I do that? the scales. I said the pivot. Yeah, and the scales. It looks good with the I mean, like, it's purple. good, and it's not like it's bad. There's just something... It's just like an overall vibe of me being like, nah. Okay, I'm going to say... There's nothing the, wrong with it. I'm going to say the hype is real to an extent, because I think the thumb stud action is amazing. I am a texture I think it's snob. a good EDC knife, and I think the micarta the CJRB has for their micarta versions is USA made micarta and it's a really really good quality. So I'm gonna say yes, the hype is real. For the money, it's a damn good knife for the money. You're yeah, getting a I mean, solid is... knife. And with that the the USA made micarta, whoo I think if it looked different, like I would probably like it better. And also like if the blade shape was That is the felt spar. This is the felt spar. The action is incredible though. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna I just don't know if the hype is real. It's just another good EDC knife. I mean the thing is is that these days there's a lot of these coming out. So for me, it's a little bit watered down. I'm almost getting spoiled to the point where it's That's it's your problem. Good. We're not talking about how spoiled you are though, baby. We're talking about whether or not is the hype real. Is it a good knife? I think everyone in this damn community is getting spoiled with the good stuff coming out. I know. It's I know. a lot of companies. Right, and I that's the So point. the hype is real to an extent, but it's also not real because I could get the same thing from another company that I actually like the way it looks. Yeah, that's my point. With shit, my, I'm talking about so there's a better, better version of this, okay? Thanks, Mr. C. <laughs> you got to try Reich Knife 1902 for M390 Bronze Titanium. Definitely. Reich makes that. great knives. So I absolutely. Not Reich, Reich. Did I say Reich? I always do that with those yeah, two. Reich. Reich. Yeah. Um, Riker's Island. I think the, the micarta version of this knife is definitely amazing. I think the G10 version is yeah, also amazing. Yeah, 10 years ago, it would have been a home run. These days, it's just average. That's my damn point. That's true. That's true. Thank um, you. But the thumb stun action back. is just such good action and deep carry clip, decent ergos. Um, the full size version, I'm sure, is uh, more fitting to my hand. But 
all the micarta out there, there is some shit micarta. There's only a few yeah. companies doing good micarta, and they are one of them. And thank you again, Mr. C. I appreciate uh, the donations. Um, you seems, always donate, and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Seems logical. We wanted to know if he could make the question up for the next knife, and I said he could. So it seems logical if you want to hit us with that, that question. Yes, we talked about the button lock elementum earlier. Um, we think it could be a hit or a miss since it doesn't have an opening aperture except for the button. Ooh, it might, aperture? Yeah, I've been, using, I've been using it. Is that it. your word now? Yeah. Aperture? Yeah, I forget who I got it from. I got it from, I think, uh, I don't know. Was it the I got, dictionary? Oh, I got it from, um, from uh, Mike Emler. Okay. He says that's I like how it. he uses it. I like um, it. So, but What's the it next knife so he can come up with okay. a question? Okay, you want to do another? Okay, oh, who wants to come up with the question? Seems Logical wants to come up with a question for the next knife. Seems Logical is going to come with a question. Okay, um, no. should I do a common knife or a knife that everybody doesn't have? Weird knife or common knife? Weird knife or common knife? This is like ASMR, and they're like... <laughs> stupid. I don't know why they do that shit. Either or. Yes, Russ, you missed a giveaway. The Wallaby says weird, please. Weird knife, weird knife. Weird knife, weird knife. Oh, shit. Weird knife, weird okay, knife. Okay, I have okay. some weirdos over here. What is on my pants? <gasps> I have a hole in my pants. Why? What did I do to deserve this again on a live? It's on my butt. I have a hole on my butt. On my pants. Okay, we'll turn around and show them. No! Um, the Tucson! Is that a weird knife? What the hell? Everybody doesn't have this. My pants have an aperture. She's got an aperture in her pants. Um, yeah, but... So this is an <sighs> Integral Tucson. The Tucson TS-195 uh, Integral with the frag pattern. Four ways of deployment. Five ways of deployment. One, two, three. Four ways of deployment. Very amazing fidgety knife. It is a Amazon Mokhtar design. Love the frag pattern. A lot of people do not have this, so it's kind of a rare beauty. It's probably the cheapest integral you can get in titanium and M390. So what's the question? What would you change about the knife to make it better? The clip. I would change the clip to a better clip. That's one thing. And then two, the closing stop pin. I would like to drop it a little bit so it's not so close to the edge. And that's it. Other than that, this thing's amazing. This is a badass knife. It really is. The hype is real on this one. Um, you do have to light switch it because if you push button it, you'll, you'll kind of stop the blade like that. So you do have to light switch it, but the jimping and everything is so sharp on it that it's just so fidgety. And this was my first integral. Why won't it let me send this? I hate this freaking thing. Looks like it was hit by a samurai sword and cut off at the edge. Yes, yes. It is a real worn cliff because it is perfectly straight. So it is an actual real worn cliff. The fuller is very sharp on it. It is a bad, it's so solid though, man. This thing is rock solid from all directions. Very good quality knife. What was the question? Um, I'm so confused. What would you change? The winning number was 29 for the giveaway. Um, 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 uh, what would you change about this knife to make it better? I want to I want to answer that question about another knife. Okay, I like that okay. Do you want to do... You know what I would change about these about pants this to make them better? A hole? Yeah, these are not cheap. These are freaking Victoria's Secret. Is that your Secret. new ones? These are Victoria's Secret. Do you understand? I do. Well, now I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what is that? Um, the kite fin. The wee kite fin. Uh, what would I would you change? change the handle material. To what? Do you change it from like, titanium? No, I change it to non-coated titanium. That's my only thing with it. Oh, you don't like the texture. It's not. No, no, no. I'm not a texture snob. You are a texture snob. It's not a snob She's thing. beyond a it's texture not, it's snob. It's like a weird anxiety that I've developed. I just, certain things, it can I've handed me... her a knife and she's went like this. She's got her hand like on it. Hot potato. Hot potato. <laughs> and she'll throw it back to me. I go, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, 
it's not like a like a ew. I don't fucking like this. It's not like that. It's like a weird thing where like if I touch it. That's not I, what it's like. No, it's not. That's it's, exactly it's what not. it's like. It's like a thing. <laughs> if I touch it, my whole body gets covered in chills, and it. She'll me, even be like, I have goosebumps. Look. I have to show. Look. Them. They're so intense. Look at my goosebumps. It'll be over my whole body, down my back. It makes me sweat. Like, it's it's but like a getting, serious look, physical reaction. She's getting that way when I'm touching paper. Stop. Don't do that, please. <laughs> she gets that way with cardboard so I just gotta hide. and textures. Like, I'm that way with gritting teeth. Like, I'll punch somebody over. Don't do it. So, I understand having a problem with stuff. What happened? Don't do that, please. Then you don't do mine. I don't. You just did! I stopped right away. I threw it. I threw it. The damage is done. I have hot sweats going on. But like I didn't even do it. Spine. I just grabbed the paper. Yeah, but you, if I, all that happens is if I think of it. I know. That's why the I didn't do it. The fault is enough. So I if you put it not. in my mind, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh, Ooh. um, with the gritting teeth? Yeah, I will fucking punch somebody. I actually got in trouble in school. Um, I was in school and this kid next to me. So I could get you to punch me right now. Don't do it. You so, held your arm down when I said it. <laughs> you literally did. I was in school and this kid and I said it. I said, listen, I have a phobia. And at cer certain points I do think there are phobias. And um, I told him, I said, listen, I have a phobia over gritting teeth. And he gritted it right in my face. And I told him, I, and I just told him, like, I was, like, really close to choking him. And I told him not to do that. And he did it again. And, like, I didn't even try to, to hit him or to not hit him. I just, I you just went hit, red. I just went red, yeah. And I hit him actually really hard. Busted his nose. Broke, I don't know if I broke it, but I busted his nose. I don't want to get into trouble. I mean, trouble. Frankie and Bird, she's like that way with foam. You know what I mean? She doesn't want to touch it. Like, there's... Teeth gritting is like biting a fork. I think it's more like grinding teeth together, but I hate yeah, that. Yeah, the, the popping and stuff. You know what I hate, which is... It makes me grit my teeth. You know what I hate that um is like an annoying thing when I'm eating? Have you ever had that? And I hate this feeling with a passion. When you're eating and you're chewing and you're not thinking about your chewing and two of your teeth go... Like from your top to your Oh, body. I hate that. And you like oh, kind of go like this yeah. and they hit each yeah, other. Yeah, they go like this. Yeah, like they go boom and yep. they hit each oh, other. Oh, I hate oh, that. Oh, it's the worst feeling in the world. I and can't get it out of my head for like five yeah, minutes. Yeah, it lasts for a minute and you're just like, <laughs> what just happened? Oh my God. See, look at all you guys admitting your weirdness too. Certain I'm not suction alone. sounds really bother me. Something about chewing on Oh, yeah, I hate sticks. the way newspaper feels. It makes me feel weird thinking about it. It makes me grit chewing my teeth. Chewing on a popsicle stick? Mm. I used to do that. Like, <laughs> it makes me think about gritting my teeth. I have certain fabric that does that to me, too, and I don't want to like think about it. Stuff. I think about chewing somebody on just it. Said, I don't know why. Somebody was just saying that, too. But, yeah, the newspaper cult, that's my thing. I don't mind the smell of it, but the feel of it, that... I literally, my whole back just went into chills. Newspaper was the original paper when I was a kid that I hated. Hated. Like, if I accidentally scratched my nail on it, oh my god, I can't. I can't do it. Um, I'm gonna go into full full dub says sandwich. his little girl freaks out on textures too. She hates <laughs> touching towels after showers. Interesting. Ooh, huh. I got yeah. I got a couple weird texture things, but when I, when I see a Gerber not pair much. of frame, I get shivers. <laughs> That's <laughs> <hilarious>. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's, I don't know, it's, it's funny though, because I noticed. 122 likes? Are you I, serious? That's amazing. That is amazing. I Thank noticed though guys. after certain points in, in my life that, um, I, it got more and more and more severe. I had never liked certain yeah, papers, but I could get through it. It has escalated to a point where there are things I avoid doing at work because I, like, I don't want to restock the straws in this bin because the paper scratches against each other. Everyone that works for me knows it too. I'm like, you guys got to do the straws, period. Point blank, period. Yeah, I agree. It's getting a lot worse. But also, though, it's I getting do, really bad I do also, literally, like, 80% of my job is cutting cardboard and opening cardboard and cardboard flaps scraping against each other, and I hate it, but I just do it. I'm just covered in chills and sweat all day. Your son flips out if you're sucking on candy in the car. Um, those things don't really bother me. I guess there are some voice sounds. Polly J, oh. thank you, bud. I had a coworker who hated the word moist. I've oh, a few people. A lot like of that. I know a lot of females hate that yeah. word. And thank you for the hog knife. Um, I, I received it. A few days. He, he received, oh, received it a few days ago. That's awesome. You're welcome, Polly J. That's Polly awesome. Polly J. He's uh, <laughs> he won one of the Patreon giveaways. 
um, that a lot of you fools aren't part of. I don't know why, because you guys are crazy. He's already won a couple times. Really? Oh, yeah, he has, right? Oh, hey, you got to be a patron. Maybe you can why win a couple times Why do girls hate the word voice? I remember that. And I, felt I think like, they're thinking of it. I think it's somewhat of like a weird trend, like where they're just like, ew, stop. Like, yeah, I know maybe. there's some people. I had one that thought of like moldy vagina. That's what she yeah, said. Yeah, what, what the she fuck? Said I'm just saying what she said, like, because she hated it. She couldn't stand it. And I was like, why? I would imagine most like, people why? can't stand moldy You know, vagina. and because, you know, how, like, when you talk about, like, I know I'm saying this, what she thought of. Oh. And, like, because I would say, like, ooh, this this cake is very moist. And she'd, like, go <laughs> crazy. Um, and All that makes me think of is wet jail cake. Yeah. <laughs> moist Ugh. cake. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't think so, but I think that that's, uh... I mean, I don't know why other people do it, but that's why she said that. Um, huh. Wet jail cake? Yeah. Oh, it's so disgusting. In jail, they stack the, the trays of food on top of one another, and the trays have just come out of the dishwasher most of the time, so they have that wet, dirty dishwasher water on them, and then the food gets Steam. put on them. Sometimes there's still water from the dishwasher in the trays when they put the food on them. All the trays fit together, like, perfectly, like a puzzle it's piece. Not a, it's not like a dishwasher, it's like a steamer. Yeah, it's well, it's like a sanitizing machine dishwasher, so they go in for like a minute game. It's like the same kind a lot of restaurants use, but it's gross. So if you're on the first floor, your cakes will be dry. Fine, because they're out in the air, but the higher up you go, the jail around and here floors. is vertical. And floors. Uh, if they get nastier and nastier and wetter and moister and disgusting or and taste more and more like dishwater. Um, but usually you're so and hungry moist. you just deal with Ugh. it, but... They're so moist. They're Voldy nasty. vagina. <laughs> yeah, Voldy vagina, exactly. No, Voldy vagina. Voldy vagina, <laughs> vagina yeah. Um, ugh. Um, what's up, Shane? How you doing, bud? Um, what else are we going to talk about? Uh, we not a whole else? lot more because I got to go to work soon. Okay, well, we can end it in five. How about that? We'll end it in five since Shane just got here. Shane. Um, but yeah, man, some, like, um, a lot of people, like, in jail, like, they love the cakes because, like, when you're in there, you, your vitamin level is so low that... You're willing to eat anything. Like you are, you're so hungry that you're you're like thinking of things that you you shouldn't even eat to eat because it's uh, you're dying of hunger, and so like um like the cake that you get in the morning, it's like just a shit cake. Except for but that blueberry people one. will fight fire. over it. They want it Hell bad, yeah. and because they need they want any type of flavor because everything's flavorless. There's no flavor. And the, the the blueberry one is good, and sometimes you get a really fucking big piece. They won't allow you to have sugar or salt or anything like that, so nothing has flavor. And like, like the cake in the morning is about the only thing you get with flavor. And, and sometimes I was, when the apples are fresh, but a lot of times they're not. But there was one time I was there, the apples were fire. I've almost always been put on the top floor um, because usually my cases, you know, led me to the top floor. Um, so I always got the You guys got things. a giant slab of onion on your bologna sandwiches? In That's crazy. We get two slabs it's of two bread bologna's. and bologna. It's That's two it. pieces of bologna. Right? Ours is one. No, well, not when you go to court. Well, when you go to court, that's different. That doing that because oh, and you get the that's the only time spots. you're getting a good meal. Like, not even a good meal. A f like, no, something with a tiny good. bit of flavor for the rest. Or the, the suicide rest. meals. It's not good if you haven't been eating jail food for a week. It's yeah. only good if you've been eating jail food for a week. But yeah. what I'm saying, though, is that normally, like, if they bring it to your cell, it's just two pieces of bread with a slab of bologna. I swear it was two pieces of bologna. Not mine. Maybe they feed the girls better. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but no, and like the people that try to pretend to, to that they're suicidal so that they get those little suicide lunches, they well, you can a say, hunger strike, you, yeah, you can, and so that they get the better food, and there was like a sugar cookie in one of them. And you I was can like, say oh. different things, like you can say you're kosher, right, so then they, they have to give you a kosher diet, or you can say you're like Muslim or something, so then they can't give you certain things. You can say you're allergic to soy. I did that one time. I said I was allergic to soy, so what it got me was instead of the soy milk, the powdered milk, which is what everybody oh. gets. Everybody gets powdered milk. I actually got a little milk chug, which That's was amazing. Cool, yeah. It was such a good idea. Um, wow. Yeah, tales from incarceration, yes. Um, you got to switch up your story about what, your grandma. Yeah, there's been a lot of crazy shit happening in the chat. Um, <laughs> This is the condensation from the food. The kosher is better. Because the, 
Hey, thanks, Mr. C. <laughs> I love that one. I always Tell want you to do that one. <laughs> Are a bacon supremacist. Um, well, there's uh, Muslims that can't have bacon, so but you don't get bacon anyways. You, you ain't never gonna see bacon, at least not where I was at or any of the places I've been. Hell to. no. You know, but down south, the I know they, food, they get grits and shit. So when I was down south, the, yeah. the one place I was at, they actually eat pretty good. They got and they were allowed they to got, smoke. I thought too. We were allowed to smoke. That's um, crazy. they were people were allowed to bring you packs of cigarettes as long as it was a full pack. Um, the, the food is pretty decent, and they gave you narcotics. Next live, 100 likes, more jail stories. Yeah, maybe we can restrict the jail stories and save them. And, um, we could do a for, uh, likes for jail stories yes. next time. Yes. Maybe we'll do that on uh, Saturday. Um, we got a lot of crazy street and jail stories. I don't know what to um, sing tonight. Yeah, well, uh, me, 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 me. I got to warm up. Wait, what are you going to sing? Guys, pick a song. No, what you gonna say? What lyrics. the hell, Lavender your pants? Now you come in. I've been silent. Oh! This whole... Sil sil <laughs> He's been silent this I don't whole know time. What... Oh, My me. roommate in college was a Muslim. He ordered a hamburger once, and they put bacon on it. So he got a new hamburger for him, and I got free bacon burger. Smart. That's smart. Yeah, they, they, when you've been there a few times, like, you know, like, the little things to do, say, not say, whatever. Just like if, um, like, you usually when you go in, you want to say you're an alcoholic, even if you're not. Um, I hate to reveal this information. Um, well, I'll just talk about it next week. Maybe we'll talk about what this stuff on Saturday. About? Nothing. Okay. Um, but you can get, like, little extra things. If you know oh, what I mean. Hell yeah. Uh, phone was set down and I've been listening on an earpiece while I've been cleaning <laughs> my garage. It's awesome. I do the same Ooh, thing. Bohemian Rhapsody. You gonna do it? I might be able to. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> There's some little chunks of words that I don't actually know what they're saying. I know, saying. I know. It's so hard. I just have to go. <laughs> Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? This will not, no, we will not let you go. We will not let you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, that was a one bad more bell. bell. Thank bad you, one. thank you, bud. You guys notice I've been foot belling tonight? Did you notice that? Casey Tyler, wait, what's wait. up, bud? What? Woo! Grandma's a dope dealer? I'm a dope dealer. Tell Grandma to hit me up. All you right. Definitely um, get, you, spades is definitely a good way to... Uh, to get by if you don't have any food, but if you don't have nothing yeah. to trade, then you're you're gonna get beat up. Um, let's. Um, okay. Okay. You get, you ready? I I can't like think of like all the words. One. Do uh. I'll do I'll do like piano man or something. I'll probably forget half the words, but let's get, I'll do that. Do bang bam a lamb. I only know that one line. I know that's the point. No, I don't okay, want to Okay, what do you want? What do you want? I'm just gonna do trolls galore tonight. Okay, I'm ready. We likes those. It's okay. It's okay. We like the trolls. Trolls are welcome. Trolls are always welcome. Especially the ugly. You guys ones. gotta treat them right. They need us. My support. granny knows your granny. My granny knows Possibly. your granny. Possibly. They might. They might be uh, dealing. My grandma with knew a lot. My grandma knew a lot of people, so I wouldn't doubt if someone knew my granny. All right, guys, you ready? Or no? If you're not ready, I'm gonna keep chatting. No, I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. We're going to cut some paper. Let's see how good this K390 is doing right now. Because I've been using the heck out of it. Oh, it's still pretty good. Damn, son. This K390 is holding up like a champ. Oh, I did strop it, though. All right. Ready? No, 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 no. She's I not ready yet, guys. You, you, we got another you, you, 30 you seconds. You effed me up. Go to cutting. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Ready? Go. I gotta read the lyrics though. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic engine. Good song. He Good. says, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes, but it's sad and it's sweet, and I knew it can be when I wore a younger man's clothes. La 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 da 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 da
Sing us a song, you're oh, the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us feeling all right. Now, John at the bar is a Wait, oh, I did the melody wrong. Now, John at the bar is Come a on, Betty. He gets me my drinks for free, and he's quick with a joke or to light up your smoke, but there's some place that he'd rather be. He says, Bill, I believe this is killing me, and a smile ran away from his face. Well, I'm sure that I could be a movie star if I could get out of this place. La-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.